Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be comparing the Lenovo Legion 5 versus the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. We're going to go over all the major differences to help you decide which one you should buy. Now here is a quick overview from the top and a comparison in size. Now on the right side they are a little different. The non-pro has a card reader slot and the Pro has a webcam kill switch. Now on the left side, they are very similar. They both have a USB-C and a headphone jack. Now on the back side, they are very similar. One Ethernet port, one USB-C port, three USB ports, one HDMI 2.1 port, and a power connector. If you look at the bottom, they both have an open grill and the fans are located here and over here. Now the difference in Coldfront 2.0 and 3.0 is that I feel like the Coldfront 3.0 is just a little bit more quiet, but they both offer a really good cooling solution. Now the battery size is the same, but I got more battery life on the Numpro because of screen resolution and brightness. Now here is a quick comparison in brightness. As you can see, the, they both get really dim, but the Pro just gets the upper hand when it comes to brightness. It's very pleasant to look at such a bright screen. Now, these are a quick overview of the specs and finding data on the NumPro, its color accuracy is incredibly challenging. So this was the best I could do. You can definitely tell the Pro has more accurate colors and they're way more popping and pleasant to look at. Now here are the aspect ratios. Now you might be wondering, what does it mean to have a 60 by 10 aspect ratio? Well, the screen is just as tall as a 17 inch screen. It's just not as wide. Now the keyboard layout is pretty much the same. The only difference I noticed while gaming is that the WASD on the Pro gets a lot less hot than on the non-Pro. Also the trackpad on the Pro feels much more smooth and clicky than on the non-Pro. It is also a little bit bigger. Now I want to clear something out of the air. I'm picking the 3070 model for example, but the same counts for the 3070 models. The TDP on the GPU is the same for both the Pro and the non-Pro. You can find this in the NVIDIA panel under System Info. Also, the processors are the same. If you are seeing any difference in performance on the internet, it has to do with the re resolution picked. They both have the same problematic memory layout, which are easily upgradable, and they both have a terrible webcam. So in short, performance-wise, they will be very similar. But one thing is good to remember. On the Pro, you will be forced to play on a higher resolution due to the aspect ratio. This is slightly noticeable in the performance. Now, if this video was any helpful, then you know how to make a YouTuber happy. From my experience, you cannot go wrong with either. Though I've lost my heart to the Pro, it's incredible display. And also the fans are a little bit more quiet. For me, this was the main reason why I picked the Pro over the non-Pro. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Remember I go black. Oh, black, black.